push-ups variations to learn for bigger arms. All right, let's talk about this push-up arm workout. The first problem is that all exercises are done in the same rep range, but they are not equal in difficulty. 15 to 20 archer or pike push-ups are much harder than 15 to 20 regular or diamond push-ups. So it makes no sense to suggest the same rep range for all four exercises. If you are an advanced athlete, you won't get challenged enough when doing 15 to 20 regular or diamond push-ups, and if you're on an intermediate level, you won't even be able to do 15 to 20 archer or pike push-ups in the first place. Besides that, even 15 to 20 regular or diamond push-ups are no piece of cake. It is necessary to show easier progressions so that beginners are also able to do this routine. Another option to make this routine work is to vary the rep range of the harder exercises. So if 15 to 20 regular or diamond push-ups are very challenging for you, it would be way more realistic to aim for 3 to 8 reps when doing archer or pike push-ups. Important tip, always start your training with the harder exercises in the lower rep range, of course after you've done your warm-up, and finish it with the easier ones in the higher rep range. The next issue has to do with the targeted muscles, because these exercises are not really arm focused. The regular push-up is a mix between chest, shoulders and triceps. The diamond push-up focuses on your triceps while the shoulders and chest do their part too. The archer push-up has a similar muscle activation like the regular push-up on the bent arm and a strong chest focus on the straight arm. And the pike push-up is clearly shoulder focused with upper chest and tricep support. So all four exercises involve the tricep somehow, but only one of them really focuses on it. Besides that, None of these exercises work your biceps or brachialis. So all in all, you cannot call this an arm workout or exercises for bigger arms. If you really want to target your arms with calisthenics, do the following exercises. Of course there are also other calisthenics exercises that work your biceps and triceps. If you want to know more about it, I linked you our 22 arm exercises ranked video right here in the info box and in the description. Alright, now I'll show you how a true calisthenics arm workout could look like. Always keep in mind that the arms are already involved in nearly every upper body exercise you do in calisthenics. So you don't need to train them that often or do that many sets. Most of the time, one session for arms a week is enough. It would be also okay if you don't have an arm day at all and just include one exercise after your pull or push workout. Okay, now let's sum it up. 
This workout is not good for targeting your arms. And if you're doing it on top of your chest and shoulder routine, it can easily lead to an overtraining for those muscles while the arms are not really challenged that much. It's okay as an all around push workout and a good mix between shoulders, chest and triceps. But of course this only works if you make the adjustments I mentioned before. So vary the rep range and adapt the difficulty of the exercises to your level so that they are neither too hard nor too easy. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a science-based workout program with no bullshit, make sure to check our online courses on kellymove.com. No matter if you are a beginner or already pretty advanced, we've got you covered. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications. My name is Alex and I'll see you in the next video.